Hi there, my name is Robert John Hatfield. I'm with Audio Mover. We're the company that takes your old audio and videotapes and turns them into digital files. You can find us at audiomover.com. That's not or movers, it's actually audiomover.com. And really cool thing about this business that we have here is that we, we get things shipped in literally from all over the country, uh, from, from coast to coast. And we get orders, most of our orders come from four states. California, I think in California we've had orders from people in over a hundred cities in California. New York, of course, is another big place. Florida is, is huge. You get a lot of orders from there and Texas. And it just so happens that this particular order came from Wimberley, Wimberley, Texas. We got permission from this customer to open it up on camera so you could see what this process is like and then take a look at what they sent in. Wimberley, Texas has 3,000 residents, 180 miles from Houston, 235 miles from Dallas, Fort Worth. And Dallas, actually Dallas, Fort Worth area is where my family is from. So I'm kind of familiar with it. I used to go there a lot when I was a kid. And this was kind of cool. So they have average 300 days of sunshine a year. And then I looked up who was, who was from this city or, or associated with the city in some way. And this is interesting. Leon Jaworski, who is the special prosecutor in the Watergate scandal, he actually died in in uh, in Wimberley, so apparently that's his connection. That's where he died. And then Philip McKeon, who was a former child actor, who was in the series Alice, if you remember that TV show, he was in that. And then this one, for me, was the coolest connection. Robert Neve, born in 1926. He's the British creator of audio, audio recording equipment bearing his name, which is Neve. And everybody heard, anybody that's really serious in the world of audio recording is familiar with Neve consoles. When I was a professional musician, we used to record, we would rent literally consoles that came from Neve mixing boards. Uh, preamps so that we could get that that's that sound that only those consoles could create and and matter of fact Abbey Road the the famous place that the Beatles recorded had Neve consoles and so it was a very very important part of recording history and people still pay money to use Neve consoles anyway so that's a really cool connection apparently he had uh, he had been there so we're gonna open up this box now and see what was sent to us you'll see on this box that this person sent it, uh, let's see here, they sent it through FedEx. So we, we do get a lot of things sent through FedEx. And you'll see that they have their order number on here. The way this works when you send things to Audio Mover is you get online, you can print an order form and just fill it out, but it's a little easier for you to actually do the order and then it creates an order number for you. You put that on your package pack it up like this, send it into us, and then we connect that order number into the system. We know who you are, where it came from. We generally know what's in here, kind of have an idea of what's coming. And so let's take a look and see exactly what we've got inside this box. And this looks like it was actually packed up pretty well. You can feel it's nice and solid on the outside. So even if it's not filled with items, it's a good idea to actually fill it up with extra things so that it's nice and solid. The whole package is, is full. So lots of you know packing material so that it so that it stays nice and firm. So as we open it up here, it looks like this person used paper to package up the things in here. Nice. So there's a lot of it in here, so it keeps it nice and solid. So I'm going to take out the paper and set this aside. And then it looks like this particular person inside the box. I'm going to remove this little thing. What this person did is they put inside the box another box with the items in it. And it's a good idea on the inside of your package, if you want to just make sure that things arrive when they're, the way they're supposed to, put your contact information on the items inside the box. And this person did it, which is really smart. Because we've we the phone call that we get more than anything else at the studio is, I'm really afraid to put my things in the mail. And I, we get that call all the time. And we've talked to all the different shipping companies about this. And we say, what, what do we tell people when they do? Because I'd be nervous about that too. And they say, just tell them to put their contact information inside the package in the box. And as long as we can identify who something belongs to, it'll always make it back to the person. And so, you know, in case there's some catastrophic event and, and they can't, you know, and, and it breaks open or something like that, which by the way, we don't ever see that happen. But if it did, 
As long as they can identify who it belongs to, they'll get it back to you. So you can see this person actually did that, which was really smart. It's what we encourage people to do. So they had their address, I just removed it uh, on, the, on the inside here on this box. So now I'm gonna take this box out. So they have a box inside the box. Looks like they used a shoe box. So inside there, just more packing material. So I'm gonna move that aside. So here we have what, what is in essence a shoe box and they've put their items inside the shoe box and they've taped this shut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then let's just take a look at what's inside the shoe box. Okay, putting the lid aside. More paper, this was packed really, really well. So they've got this nice and nice and solid in here. Inside here, there is some uh, instructions that uh, we sometimes tell people that if they want things a certain way, because a lot of people that do this kind of work, they, they have a very specific thing they're trying to accomplish. And it may not be that they want MP3s or CDs. Maybe they want WAV files. Maybe they want AIF files. You know, a lot of people have recordings of church sermons and they want to edit them themselves. Or they want, there's so many different things that people have. So what we encourage you to do is fill out the order form, get online, fill out everything. And then if you have special instructions for us, we can do anything when it comes to your audio files. Just, but we don't put every single option on the website because it just confuses people. So if you say, hey, you know, I don't exactly want MP3s, although that's the option that's on here, just put a note in here and say, I'd rather have WAV files and I'd rather them to be 16-bit, 44-1, whatever. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll, you'll know. And just put that, those instructions in there. And if you want to talk to somebody, call us. We have a, we have a nationwide toll-free number you can call as well and, and talk to us about your, the things that you, uh, that you need done. So now I'm going to open this up. Looks like they have a little bit of bubble wrap in here, which is always nice, and around more more paper, and then inside the shoe box. So this was packed really, really well, and it was going to make it here safely. Kind of, and once again, they they did a great job with this. That's a, so you know we sometimes encourage people to put things in a box inside the box, and then it's it's really safe. Now the truth is, we see people send things in. <laughs> packed really, really poorly, and it still makes it in one piece. So w w it's a good idea definitely to pack it nice like this, but, but I've seen people do it in such really, really rough ways, and, and it still makes it fine. These particular tapes in here, this is kind of interesting. These are, this person has actually numbered the tapes for us. I think I spoke to this person on the phone just now that I look at what we've got here. But this uh, looks like a few different types of tapes and they've numbered them for us. So it looks like there's about 14 tapes in here. They put them in order and this is a, a Sony tape. And each one of these, I'm not sure what the contents are, but a lot of times these things that we get from people all over the country, yeah, you can see that there's tape number six, tape number seven. A lot of times what we get from people is there'll be church sermons, there'll be interviews with parents, there'll be uh, recordings of, of their high school concerts and college things, what have you. And a lot of times these things are people's just recordings of family and events and, and they'll send that type of thing into us and so uh, for, for posterity. And, and there's nothing better to do than to, to get them digitized so that you can keep them. And so anyway, hope you enjoy that stuff. That's what it's like opening up these packages here. And we get these things every day and it's always fascinating to see these new cities that we've never heard of and get all this this old cool stuff from people. Anyway, so if you have old audio and video tapes that you'd like to convert, go to Audio Mover, not Audio Movers, AudioMover.com, and you can get your order started right there. And if you have any questions, you really can call, and we'll pick up the phone and talk to you about whatever your questions and the specific things you're trying to accomplish. Anyway, hit a like and a subscribe if you wouldn't mind, and we'll talk to you later.